So as you guys know, we set up this trailer so that the pigs would get used to it and, uh, you know, they were going to come in here and eat. But they have not eaten in two days now because they did not want to come up into this trailer. I just now coaxed Moo Moo up here with some peaches and a pile of grain. And this is the first that anyone has eaten from the feed barrel in two days now. I think Pumbaa might be starting to get inclined to come on up here. But this barrel still has all the food that I put in it two days ago. Moo Moo's the first person to eat from it. <clears throat> and the two gentlemen are uh, being a bit stubborn here. Which is unfortunate because that guy is the one who needs to get his butt in there. You can wait. Of course, I need you to put on some more weight and to stop getting sunburned. Guys, this is what pig farming looks like. It doesn't make sense. Pigs are stubborn, a little smelly, and uh, sometimes you just gotta, you know, convince them to not be dumb. Get in there. Go ahead. Get in there and get some food. What's the matter with you? You can do it. If Moo can do it, you can do it. Come on. Come on. I'm just gonna slowly walk up behind him and see if that's a little gentle pressure that will nudge him in. Come on, big boy. Get in there. He does not want to get in there. Holy cow. Aren't you hungry? That's where the food is. Look at Moo She's up there. She's going to eat all the peaches. So, how... Am I going to get these pigs to ever go on this trailer? Well, we've got Moo Moo. She might be heading up there now, except now that I'm talking, I distracted her. And she's uh, voicing her displeasure with me. But uh, I think she's about to get up there and go again. Pumba has come over here and looked at the ramp and trailer a couple of times since I've been here. And then decided no. So what I'm going to do is, remember this is the corral set up that uh, we did last time when we were trying to get the pigs on. And so what I've done now is I've got this set up so it's essentially a wall right here with the feed going that way. And when I come out here tomorrow or Friday, I'm going to get a bunch more pallets and make this wall a little longer. So that way all we really have to do is get Pumbaa to say, you know, if this wall goes out to here and makes sort of a funnel. We really only have to get Pumbaa to the mouth of the funnel and then slowly walk towards him and he'll have no choice but to go up the trailer. I think that's the only way we're gonna get Pumbaa to load his jerk self up, uh, up there. So that's fun. Do not underestimate the importance of building yourself a corral when you're getting started. That is what I'm learning here. I'm also learning I need to pick up some trash. That uh, blew in. Because getting the pigs loaded onto the trailer is really the most important part of raising pigs for meat because you need to be able to send them to the butcher. That's the whole business. So that's what uh, that corral is what I'll be working on and if you guys have seen the other video that I've made about future of the farm, corral is definitely, uh, a real corral is definitely on my plans and agenda. Uh, for, that, that's essentially where all the, the money is going from this first sale of pigs is back into more fencing for that pasture over there where we'll be putting in a real corral and things of that nature. So uh, I'm going to do some more chores around here. If I have more stuff to... Uh, share with you guys, I will turn this right back on. For funsies, I think what I want to do now is actually just take a walk around the pasture and sort of see what the pigs have been doing to it. What have they been eating? What have they been not eating? And sort of I can sort of figure out what these uh, lady and gents like. Obviously something in here they found really interesting. And you can see they're following me. This is a path that obviously they're making to get through here. 
they're passing up all this great grass and not eating it to come out to this area where they obviously like uh, digging through the ground. They like to come up here and they've roughed this up a good bit, but the grass is actually coming back pretty good, uh, which is interesting. And these are those invasive Brazilian melons that I want them to root out before they fruit and seed. Uh, so I think I'm going to need to get some more uh, sunflower seeds and throw them down there so that they'll dig those up by the roots for me. There's Pumbaa just chilling right there in the sun. This, I think this is a uh, wild uh, herb. What's this? It's like wild parsley or something, but it's great for the butterflies. And if the pigs eat it, it's not a big deal. Um, it should be pretty good for them. It looks like they have been getting at it. We have them rooting around in grass. And if you guys remember, this was all pretty gosh darn bushy and high grass, uh, really not even that long ago. But there's still plenty for them to do here. Remember, I am okay with them completely moonscaping this section of the hill because that'll make it easier for me to plant my orchard a little bit. You see, they definitely patrol the hot wire line. You know, a lot of this section of cleared by the hot wire is done by me uh, with the weed whacker, but they are also definitely contributing at the very least by walking along it. Um, and you see uh, what I'm going to do right now is just rip out a bunch of these weeds. I didn't bring the weed whacker out today because uh, I used it at the house and it killed the battery. But I don't want all of this draining the wire. I'm just going to pull those out real quick. Because what happens with all this grass leaning up against the wire is it drains the voltage so it doesn't shock them as hard which means they might test the wire more often and break through it when they get bored. Here's definitely a spot that they like to hang out in. Uh, probably because of the shade provided by these trees in the evenings gives them a nice place to lay in the shade that's not you know, in the pen over there. Looks like they're pressing some dirt. I don't think I have the bottom wire actually plugged in right now. I'm still going to clear this section away from the wire. I think I just have the top wire hot because I haven't been able to uh, cut the grass back like I need to the last couple of times I've been out here. And it's definitely growing really well. I mean, look at this. This was not like this uh, over the weekend when I was out here with the weed whacker. So, uh, and they're knocking these trees over onto it. So I gotta be careful with that. So they may not actually be coming downhill on the downhill side, which is interesting. Maybe a little bit right in here, but it looks like they're staying uphill. Ooh, looks like Moo Moo and Pumbaa are hanging out up by the trailer. Let's go spy on them real quick and see. Maybe we can help coax them onto it. Oh, and there goes Vinny. Yeah, definitely down around here, they like to hang out. Nope, they gave up on the trailer already. What I might actually need to do is to go ahead and get off this section right here. Might have to just go ahead and do that. So that way they can't come out here and forage. They have to get whatever they can from in here, slash up on the trailer. Maybe that'll do it. pain in the butt pigs. Here's one thing more to share today. This is the giant sunflower stalk that I did a short video on and posted uh, a couple of days ago. And here's the other one. It looks like the pigs ate all of the leaves off of it, but did not really care for the stalk itself, which is mildly surprising, but you know, not terribly. But that's good to know for the future when I want to feed these guys sunflowers. What I really want to do is, uh, we're starting another crop of sunflowers in the home garden, and I want to get a normal size one, say about six feet, and see if I can get them to eat the head of that. Uh, I think that'll be fun. So uh, that will be a video for you guys to look forward to. Make sure you press like, make sure you press subscribe, and leave a comment below uh, mocking me and my frustrations with raising these pigs. 
So these guys may or may not like me, that's up for debate. But they definitely like the sound of my truck, because whenever they hear it, they come chasing it. Probably because they think I'm going to feed them. But, as we've established, their food is right over there. And they're just going to need to climb in there and get it. Or they're going to eat nothing but grass. Because I've got this wire hot enough that they don't want to go through it. And that's their only food source. So, uh... Hopefully they get their stuff together and get in there so they can eat and then I can eat if you get my drift. <laughs>